What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, let me get my notes up. We are officially going into Kaled. I need to make a... Uh, give me a second. I'm going to update my notes with a title page. Um, insert content. It'll just make it easier to jump to, like, stuff. God, I haven't used this... Reference. Okay, got it. Um, I'm not free. And we are at Kaelin. Ugh. Must take so much time to make one video I can't even imagine. You're about to see in real time just how long it takes to make a video. Let me get the... <laughs> Okay, put that up. Um, that. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice fashion. This is, uh, yeah, kind of, kind of not the right build, but hang on. Actually, hang on, I could just continue with the pyro guy. I see something. This is before the respec, okay. So the pyro save should actually work, hang on. Um, Pyro at All right, Let's see if this works I don't have a lot but appreciate the hard work Appreciate you Magical cowboy I have no idea how many parts the walkthrough will be. Not guessed yet. A lot. That's all I know is a lot. A lot. Uh, you see the Stunbreak trailer? I did. I was tweeting about it this morning. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else at the Shack of Rotting. We had him run through and snag some items here earlier. So this area is done. We already had them do this. We let the cats in. Hang on. All right. So I think the first thing, um, maybe we start at the smoldering church. We knock out the invader and we do the Ur tree just to get those things done. I think that makes sense. Get all those done. There's some catacombs over there as well. Do you know where the hornbone is? 
Yeah, it's down in uh we covered it in the last prep. It's underneath this. It's right here. Go under the stairs. Okay, where are you at? Where are you at? Come on. Clapped. Thank you, Tim. So, uh, let me see. We're gonna go to Smoldering Church and kill Anastasia. We get Sacred Scorpion. Um, mention loot we got. Head to Smoldering for NPC and Scorpion Charm. Okay. I haven't used those at all, really. How much does it raise? It, might, it better, like, really fucking raise it. So we're gonna do that. How many endings are there? Uh... Like, seven? The new lore build's gonna be a bit. I gotta finalize it and get some more footage and... You should look at the other guy that's attacking you. Golden Vow already? Ugh. Rocks, 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 rocks. Here they come. I'm throwing rocks. Six. It'd be nice if you could stop doing that shit. Okay, what do we get for you? We get... Green burst crystal and flame shrouding cracked. Okay. Um, head to Erd Tree for green burst and fire shrouding. Okay, now isn't there like a catacomb here? It's like right along the wall, I think. There's the arena. Ah, yes, there it is. Why do you make the best walkthroughs on YouTube? Because I make videos that are titled walkthrough and are actually walkthroughs instead of just slapping walkthrough on them because that's what gets the most clicks even though they're usually blind playthroughs. It's amazing how a simple bit of distinction does such a huge difference. Mm, I want some more spells. I want you. You're fun. I'm gonna fuck around with you. I don't know if you're gonna be good. I'm gonna use you. Um, how much arcane do I need for my bubbles? 15? It's kind of a fucking investment, not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, we go down and we drop. There's no pre-roll with this one. Interesting. Uh, hidden path ahead. Try down. Down. Or glove where... Is this the one with all the skeletons up top? I think we come back through there later. What are you gonna do when you hit one million subs? Keep making videos. Take the downward path first. Um, bum 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 bum. Ba dum bum dum bum 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 bum. There was a hidden door. This build is only int. I have enough decks to use a katana and that's it. Is it under the elevator? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so, uh, Erd Tree, Ohms, uh, proceed down the stairs first for a lever, then trigger elevator and go beneath. Did you up finishing Ronnie's quest on the walkthrough and did you find Mogwood of Blood? Yes. How do we access Altus Plains via the secret path or via the Volcano Manor or via completing your medallion? You gotta go for whichever tickles your pickle. So much variety. What does this path have? Anything good? Time for crab. Crab? And then a ladder. I don't know if I want to go up yet or not. Horizon or Elden Ring, two completely different games, so... All depends what you want out of a game. You think Elden Ring probably will be better than some Puku Peeler once it's patched? Probably. If it had arcane scaling, it would work. Would you try out the strat of putting one of the godskin duos to sleep? No, I don't think sleep's that good. I've already seen the, uh, there's a couple of sleep videos popping up lately, but they're mostly a joke, to be honest. The thing with sleep is there's only one reliable way to apply it, and that's by using a weapon specific to sleep, and... I mean, frankly speaking, 
if I have to use, uh, if the only way to apply that status is gonna be through one weapon, it's not a very good status. You know, Frenzy may only have the Frenzy Spear, but you can also apply Frenzy via spells, you can apply it via the shield. Those are all useful avenues. The sword is only really useful with the Sword of St. Trina. Um, which, I mean, straight swords are okay as a weapon, but... That's it. Like, if you wanna, you know, your whole thing is using one weapon to put stuff to sleep, then sure. Also, I want to be clear, the notion of sleep being good in PvP, no. No, it's not. Sleep is not going to work in PvP against anybody that has, like, higher than a 50 IQ. You need to be... Your, your PvP needs to literally be like, I'm going to hit the sky, I'm going to hit the sky, I'm going to hit the sky. Oh, oh, yeah, I fell asleep. Like, no one that knows what they're doing is ever going to fucking be afflicted by sleep in PvP. It's not going to happen. I'm just going to roll through your shit and then bash your face in. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, take the side path in the rot area. Ahead is boss. Yeah, right? Invader and NPC invaders might fall for that. I've seen people lately being like, bro, sleep's really good. Sleep, you can you can put people to sleep and get get free hits on them like it's not no it's not it's not gonna work it's not gonna work imp wolf head which one does this do uh, that's the strength boost. Yeah, that's cool. Take the side path. Um, sleeping on that sleep. I just don't like seeing stuff suddenly like, I don't know. I don't I don't like the misinformation of people being like, yeah, 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 this is super good. And I'm like, it's not. It's not super good. I haven't tested, but I'm curious if you could even use sleep if you have a mimic. I'm pretty sure your mimic would just attack the sleeping target and nullify out any benefit that you thought you were going to have. Uh, so we got butterfly, some grave stuff. I think that's it here. Anything else here? So it might be worth having them go this way right at the start just to get that shit. So that they don't have to drop down later. I think that makes more sense. What is this, Monster Hunter? Yeah, right. In PvP, three people used Rightning Ram and Bull Armor to chase me down. That's fucking funny. Sounds like you got outplayed. I guess I could have them grab the stuff, because otherwise they're gonna... The alternative would be going this way and going this way. Yeah, no, it makes more sense. Um...
Should I give the necklace to the NPC? Yes. Can we do a stat check? Why? This is not... This isn't a build. You shouldn't be following this character's stats. This is a walkthrough prep character. These stats are unoptimized. Sleep even work on bosses? It works on a few of them. But not all of them. You can't... Godskin Duo it actually works on. But... The thing is, I'm pretty sure you'd have to go into the fight... And, and this, this is my thing with, with trying to use sleep on bosses. Is Godskin Duo isn't just a... a duo. Uh, Godskin Duo is... They'll keep resurrecting until you've drained that health bar. Which means you need to... Summon your Mimic. You need to put one to sleep. Or ideally, you'd have to go in, put one to sleep, put the other to sleep. Then you'd have to get your Mimic after switching your weapon. Hope your Mimic is attacking the same one you are. And then hope the first one stays asleep the whole time. That's just not... That's not a viable strategy. That's relying too much on, uh, I hope this works out the way I want it to. You do not need the stats. What is it working here? Tell it would be great if you could maybe fucking dodge for like half a second, my guy. Your only job here is to hold aggro, and you're not doing a very good job at it, I really gotta say. Wow, that's fucking bad. Lutiel is a gal. Lutiel is a terrible summon that just died. I don't care if it's a gal or a girl. Its new classification is terrible. I said it back in the legendary summons video. Lutiel is not that good. I want a different legendary summon. One that doesn't die like a bitch. Resort to Moonvale spam? I mean, my summon died instantly. Yeah, I'm gonna resort to Moonvale. Moonvale's plus 10. This isn't supposed to be a struggle. I'm here getting through this fucking game. I'm trying to get this bullshit done to get a guide. Killing the large white dragon, the one that doesn't move, affect the story or quest progression. You know, just kill it. You have to. It's for platinum. If you don't murder the dragon, you can't get your platinum. Best summon except mimic? Probably Tish. Probably Tish. All right. Um. Bum 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 bum. So let me see where we wanna go. Whirl of Flame, Great Sword. Do, 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 do. do I do the Forsaken Ruins next? Maybe. Oleg is best boy. Oleg. Oleg, don't put up with no bullshit. So we already cleared Gale Tunnel on a previous episode. I think we now take them to Rotview and we do Forsaken Ruins, maybe? Mm. Or no, maybe I should go around, I don't know. Let me, let me think. Maybe I go around and I, I go by Greatsword. 
And then I can do Kalem Ruins and then shoot over to Forsaken Ruins. That might make more sense. So we go along the road. Ah-ha-ha-ha! Rot corpses! No, no, no! We get Whirl of Flame. And then off to the left by the crow is a rune arc. And then crazy bird. And a crazy baby. Not right now, baby. No, oh, baby. Ah! Is there anything else here by crazy bird? Some explosive bolts. Baby got canceled? No. Baby is doing baby stuff. Um For a spell. Grab the grace. Alright, so after we get this grace, I think that's it for right there. Next, we want to head just south into the Kalem Ruins, which is right here. Kalem Ruins has... Is this the fire one? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. How to get the snowy region early game? You don't. We got some fire grease. Butterfly, Grease. Oh no. You should look at Loodle. Look at Loodle. Loodle is your friend. Visage shield. Q. 
cure. Well, we could, uh, let me go, maybe I go to the Forsaken Ruins first to get them the sword, to try out that strategy. Mm. Those Forsaken Ruins is where you get the Sleep Sword. I don't know. I See, my thing is, I don't think Sleep's gonna stay very long. I think it's gonna get nerfed. Um, fire Grease, Butterflies, uh, Visage, Great Shield, After, Double, Pumpkin. I want to go west. Why will sleep get nerfed? Won't it just mana burn? I think it'll get nerfed in PvE content. That wouldn't surprise me, because people are... I don't know. I don't like relying on strats for a walkthrough that could get nerfed, and the idea of, oh, this puts things to sleep and makes them easy to kill. I don't know, man. That doesn't sound reliable. That sounds like something from would nerf. Or they'll make it so that, like, the duration is, like, way, way longer or way shorter. I'll test it out on some stuff. I think I can fit it on and I'll be at heavy load. See, the other thing is telling people, oh, just use this sword in the walkthrough. It needs a 14 int investment, which is fine for my character, but a lot of other characters wouldn't be able to use that. And you know, that that is a uh, part of the walkthrough is I want I want things that are applicable to multiple players. For Forsaken Ruins. So after they come here, I'm just gonna tell them like, don't fuck with the birds, don't fuck with the dogs. There is a way, oh no, you can't, you can't obtain both talismans and the needle. You can get both talismans or you can get one talisman and the needle. You must choose. So we'll take him to this grace. I'll try it. Somebody said you can block these things with the horse. And they'll die. test the strategy. I think I just ran through. The Beast Torch, I gotta remember where that's at. I've heard that keeps all beasts away though, so that might be helpful in this region. Assuming it works on the big dogs and the bacros.
shack in the top left. I'm talking about this merchant. Hmm. We haven't taken them to that in the walkthrough yet. Um, do I want to have them tackle the fort yet? I could. No, hang on. Does, uh... Does having both halves of the medallion trigger Radon? Hmm. <laughs> fort Gale... Oh, no, Fort Gale isn't the medallion. The medallion is, uh, it's at this fort, right? Well, I'm not worried about killing him before. I'm asking if getting the halves will trigger him. Because if I send them somewhere and they get the have, and then after getting the have, all of a sudden they're stuck fighting Radon, people are gonna be like, well, what about the other boss fight? We need to head on out to, I wanna test this beast torch thing. If you have a level 1025 weapon, can you discard it? I don't know if anyone's actually tested that. If that changes your matchmaking values. Probably not, though. It doesn't trigger anything? I think it does. We're gonna test that, because I don't trust chat. Y'all have led me astray a number of times in the creation of the series. You cannot be trusted. It's not about doing the other boss fight after Radon. It's about... It makes more sense to do that fight before Radon because strength builds get access to one of their best weapons, you get access to a new whetstone, and you get a bunch of other shit that's useful. I don't want to say, well, we fucked up, so you're going to fight Radon, and now that you beat him and gotten like seven levels, then we're going to come through and do this area now. The point is smart progression. Smart progression is what we want to check. And so if getting both halves of the medallion triggers Radon and clears out the castle, we do not want that. I might have them, if this beast torch works, I'm going to have them go get it. Alright, let's see. Those are some beasts. We're gonna see if this works on dogs and crows. A cult is a different whetstone. They're slightly better than DSP. Great, thanks. Is that why you're, you're here thirsting for guides?
Somber four. Okay, just south. Oh, da, 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 da. Next, head west for Forsaken Ruins and Sleep Sword. Getting mouthy with a mod? Ooh, man. Someone really trying to get banned. Back! Back! Back, beast! Yeah, I don't think the beast torch works, y'all. The crow does not seem to care about my magical beast repellent torch. Nope, still haven't had my steak and lobster dinner. The L2 just pokes them. I'm gonna try, we're gonna try on a dog because we're closer to a grace site now. Ah, back, back, back. Back. Alright, well if it works on the dogs, let me go over here to a bunch of dogs. I think it was getting ready to attack. That might be worth getting. Back, beasts! All right, we're gonna make a note that they want to get this torch. Whoa, hey. Hey, hey, do you not see? This one doesn't care. Hey, I have the torch. I have the torch. Oh no. The bird don't care. The bird don't give a shit. I'm just gonna mention it and be like, it's kind of inconsistent, it might work, it might not. Isn't it because you took it off to open a chest, but it came back on? I mean, it seems like it would still be something that's useful to have. And we get that, we get the shiny, we get the Ash of War. And then uh, let's go do this place next.
Yeah, if it, if it partially works, it partially works. That's still... You know, it's still something that's useful. Might be useful against bleed dogs, perhaps. I can't believe that guy got that arrow off. Checking the outskirts of the castle for loot. I don't know, Matthew. Just you could just take a random spare and you could make it lightning or holy. I would just do that. Alright, I know y'all are guarding something. What are y'all guarding back here? Let me see it. What is it? Flame grant me strength. That's worth getting for sure. Bike spears for PvP mainly. Double, uh, what are we gonna call them? Flame carts, I guess. I tried lightning, it didn't make the weapon scale with faith. Then do holy. Holy might be faith now. I think they, they reclassified how lightning works in this game. So they can probably just run in and snag it, and then they can grab the butterflies and get out. the other side. Kill patches, you miss out on the heaviest armor of the game. You also miss out on a really cool whip. Uh, okay, looking good. Um, oh, da, 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 da. go around to the left for um.
Yeah, I mean, his base shop isn't what we want, though. You want the magma whip. That's the good shit. Oh, so I could have him go here and jump off and probably grab that shit even easier. That might make more sense. Well, we'll see. I'll, I'll swing around to the left, and if it's not working out, we'll go this way. Sat staff is not the best staff. Sat staff is garbage. Oh, wrong spell. Why do I say that? Because it's true. Usat's staff is not good, dude. It's not the best. Y'all have no clue what the fuck you're talking about. Absolutely no clue. Lusat's staff has a 50% increase to all FP costs for a 13% increased damage over the Royal Scepter. Carrion Regan is by far a better choice. 50% increased costs? That's terrible. That's only useful for like while you have your infinite FP active. As soon as, as soon as you have to actually spend FP to cast, the staff becomes a fucking trash can. Well, you're, you're fine to disagree, but you're fucking wrong, my guy. I would be incredibly impressed if somebody could make it through an entire area just using... just using Lusats. Because you're gonna absolutely run out of FP. If you're doing PvP... Like, PvP, I constantly see people with Lusats, and they try to cast spells, and then they run out. And they try to cast spells, and then they run out. And I just have to dodge for, like, 10 seconds, and then it's like, whoopsie, you're out of fucking FP. You're out of FP for a bunch of spells that you cast that all missed. Like, that's- that's not good value. A better way to think about it is... So, if we were to talk just general progression... Unlimited FP tier only works for 10 seconds. I already said that, you can't count on that. Unlimited FP tier, it's, it's a 10 second buff. And that's gonna be good for bosses, sure. But we're talking about general progression. Let's say you're trying to get through Redmain Castle. Or you're trying to get through the fort up in Kaled. You are going to be bottoming out on FP constantly. That's not good. That's not good value. It's not. It's not good value. You are. You're not getting the value. Value is important. Did that ghost just start the Radon fight? No, I don't think so. Um, how did I do this? Yeah, right? You've seen 14 FP pots and never get hit. Like... Run up, go... Lusat staff is... There, there is one circumstance in which Lusat staff is gonna be good. And it's gonna be the very start of the boss fight. Basically, if you pop Terra Magicus and then you pop your flash to have infinite FP... ...and you use Lusats for 10 seconds. Those 10 seconds, it's gonna be good. After that, it's doo-doo. Because it costs too much. It costs way too much. And especially with endgame spells? Bro, like... Look at, look at some, let's talk about some spells here. 
Let's talk about some spells. Let's say you're using uh, sorcery. This costs 30. Now it costs 45. You want to fire out Loretta's Great Bow? That's at 32. Now that's at like 46. You're going to bottom out of FP. That's enough for the game. I mean, hey, man, you want to go out there and die? You do it. I'm not fucking arguing with you. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm trying to make notes. I'm not going to argue why a fucking 50% increase in mana or a 13% increase in damage is bad. That's basic fucking math. Yeah, my car uses gas. 50 per, it uses 50% more gas than your car, but I go 13% faster. Everyone's going to look at you like you're a fucking idiot. Where does this sending gate send me to? Azure Staff also isn't worth it. Azure Staff is a... 15% increase. And in exchange for- oh god. In exchange for 15% FP, you have like an 8% faster cast speed. Just hearing that trade-off isn't worth- exactly! Like, it's not- it's not worth it at all. Azure Staff is not a damage increase, it's a cast speed increase. There's gotta be more in Fort Gale. Oh, left the flame, grab me strength, double card, send up the castle on the battle, uh, up in the right, uh... Up the ladder is a... And you combine it with Talisman to reduce FP cost to make it more cost effective, it's not gonna be worth it. It's not gonna be worth it. Listen, you use what y'all want. I've already put up videos showing sorcery builds and faith builds and why I would recommend using something. It's the same way everyone's like, what about Giant Crusher? Giant Crusher is the best scaling strength weapon. Yeah, it is. And it also has two-third the range that the Prelate's Hammer has. In PvP, two-third the range? Two-third the range? That's not good. You're going to miss a ton of attacks. Let me, let me, I'll, let me put it in, I'm going to put it in perspective for my little PP gang. Let's say your PP is only six inches, okay? If your PP was nine inches instead, that's a pretty big PP. That's the difference. So, I mean, if you're okay with just the six inch PP, then you can go ahead and you can use the Giant Crusher. But if you want the big PP, I mean, nine inches, that's, that's a lot of PP. That's a lot of dick. You've never heard of somebody pulling out a nine inch dick and somebody being like, that's not enough. That's the difference between a Prelate Great Hammer and a Giant Crusher. So, you know, you use what you want. But this is basically open world Dark Souls. Size matters, and cost effectiveness also matters. All right, all right. Well, a lot of people seem to be getting sensitive. Let's say, let's say you had only a four-inch PP. All right, now, now we're in, now we're into to micro PPs, right? All right. If instead of four inches, it was a six-inch PP, now you got a, now you got a, a good-sized PP. Is that what y'all want to hear? Is that, is that better? Everyone likes that example more? <laughs> Y'all fucked up. 
<laughs> oh man. The point being that if if you just look at, at a stat and go, this is big number. Big number doesn't necessarily mean something is the best in, in, in these games. You need to consider the other things. Carrion Regal Scepter, as somebody mentioned, you can twirl around and you can block attacks with it. You can attack targets with it. You can do all kinds of shit with it. That makes it a good staff, aside from just stick cast spells. You have the consistency in your casts. It's all... They're, they're, you can't just look at the biggest number. There's more shit you gotta consider. By following the logic, the 4-inch PP does more damage than the 9-inch PP just isn't as long. Yeah, but the thing is, even if the 4-inch PP does the same damage as the 9-inch PP, sometimes there's gonna be spots that it just can't hit, my man. And, and you know what? I know, I know they say it a lot, but, but, you know, oh, that's about how you use it, not the size. Oh. There, there is a point where size is gonna matter. And in this case, the giant crusher just, it don't got what it needs, man. It don't, it, it ain't gonna make the cut. Some people might be satisfied with the four inch. But a lot of people won't. And you know, that's something that you need to consider for yourself. Only you can decide. How do I get over to there? Do y'all think my beast torch will work on this guy? I kind of want to test it, but at the same time, I don't. Anything over here? I feel like this is... Oh, here we go. There's a lever for the gate. Okay, um, let, me make, let me make some notes. Um, so I'm gonna say, uh, go around to the left for flame grant me strength. Watch out for double flame cards. And up to the castle and around the battlement. No, let me just go, go around to the right. And up the castle and around the battlement. Um, break the, uh... So we're gonna head this way, and then, uh, after opening the gate... There's some mushrooms around the corner. Then we're going to roll down. I'm probably going to die, but I, I need to test this mechanically. Hey, ah, 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 bad kitty. Ah, bad kitty. Bad kitty! Ow, shit! Hitting me through the walls. How many weapons, uh, like, I don't know, six, seven, six, seven unique. Looks like a trap chest. Guitar. Cool.
Brutal. Get on in there. Don't want to attack him. Go on. Get down. There we go. All right. Ludal is in the arena. Ash of War, Lion's Claw, and a Rune Arc. Okay, this area is done. I'm going on a date with a girl I like tomorrow. Any tips on how to woo her? Uh, be yourself and don't be overly cringy. Do not talk about how you're such a nice man and how you'll treat her right, because that shit's cringe as fuck, my guy. If you're like, yeah, I would treat you so much better than every other guy, mm. I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, this dude's a fucking weirdo. Yeah, don't be, don't be cringy at all. Yeah, yeah, I'm a huge empath. I just, I'm listening to everything that you're saying and I identify with all of it so much. A lot of other guys wouldn't do that. Just me. I'm like the perfect guy for you, really, when I think about it. Like, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Nobody likes a nice guy. That's what people don't get. Like, just being like a genuinely nice dude, it doesn't take much. Like... Girl's cold, offer you your jacket. There you go. You're now nice. Uh, you're, you're a nice person through your actions and demonstrating those actions, not talking about how nice you are and how how well you're gonna treat somebody. That's, that's fucking weird. No, you don't talk about your PP. Also, that's, that's another, just, just, that's just dating advice in general. Unless someone explicitly says, like, show me a picture of your dick, you never send a dick pic. That's not- I don't know. That wasn't a thing. When- when I was in the dating scene and I was younger, that wasn't a thing. Nobody- nobody was asking for dick pics. Regardless, nobody wants an unsolicited picture of your pee-pee. Never. Don't do it. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you're feeling sexy. I don't care if- well, the light's hitting it just right and I like the angle. No, it does not matter. Never, never just send pictures of your pee, -pee to people. Women never ask for one. Well, then then you should never send pictures of your PP. There you go. Look at that. We solved the equation. Wasn't that hard? What an amazing revelation we just had. If someone doesn't ask for a picture of it, you shouldn't send it. Wow. I feel like I feel like I deserve like an honorary math degree for solving this problem. Exactly. Now, sending photos of your Elden Ring Platinum Trophy, that's the hot shit. Cody, I don't know why you're asking me, bro. I'm not fucking FromSoft. I can't answer this question. I don't know, my dude. I don't know when anything's being patched. You don't- I, I want it patched. Don't you think I would have, like, tweeted out something? Like, I heard back. It's getting patched. No.
Do not wear a tan corduroy jacket with Birkenstocks? See, I feel like you should wear whatever the fuck you want. I, I would go on dates in like, flippers and basketball shorts. And a tank top. And if someone was like, ew, he's not dressed, well... We wouldn't have been a match anyway. Like, there's no reason, like, you shouldn't- I know everyone's like, well, you should dress nice on a first date, and I mean, no, you shouldn't dress nice on a first date, you shouldn't look like a fucking slob. Like, go, like, you know, take a fucking shower, make sure you don't have, like, fucking Cheetos sitting in your beard, make sure you don't fucking stink. You should be clean. But it doesn't matter if you wear a button-up shirt or a fucking Dragon Ball Z tee, you know, obviously you want to dress for the occasion if you're going out to a fancy restaurant and you show up in basketball shorts and flip-flops you're gonna look like a fucking clown but i don't i don't like the idea of like oh it's a first date better spiffy the fuck up like nah man nah no 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 i'm gonna dress the same way i would dress if i was just like going out to hang out with some friends somewhere because that is me that is who i am You don't have the right, or you don't have the right, by the way, you don't have the right, or you don't have the right, what the fuck? That's weird. Work your way east, down the cliffs, grab a sombering four. Bring your main man dung eater as your wingman. See, that's another good tip, because because Dung Eater looks like such shit that even if you're a neckbeard, you'll look great in comparison. I was at the gym yesterday, less than ideal. I jumped on the inversion table for my back, but I just had a protein shake, and so that just had me feeling fucking funky the whole time. But it, it was, I mean, the workout was pretty good. I didn't do anything crazy. I did, like, what did I do? Like, incline dumbbell chest press, incline curls, skull crushers, Leg extensions, and then laying leg extensions. So I just kind of tried to like hit the main muscle groups, just... Get everything accustomed to like, you're gonna be working again. And I'll probably do that for the next two weeks, just to get everything back to like... You know, we need to be... We, we, this is what we do. Get my body warmed back up for it. Maybe some light squats and deadlifts later in the week when I go. You're getting slimmer? That's because I haven't been fucking eating. <laughs> Hidden path ahead. Pathetic sort of head, liar. <laughs> oh, these messages crack me the fuck up. Are you wary of up? What's up? Oh. Lots of moaning. Oh, I remember this place. Um Okay, so when the floor collapses, they go Yo, vulgar militia saw, let's fucking go. Just gonna proceed through. Because initially, you don't have a choice. You can't go anywhere but like through. Everything else is caged.
Or tell them about the heels? Nah. So, so far there's only like, there's only one route they can go. It's the one we're doing right now. Three beastmen and a chest with a somber five. And then you can let everything out. Mm, room has three beastmen, sombering five, and cage door. Why does Moonvale seem to have such bad stats? Because it has a broken good weapon art. It's like super powerful. Alright, so once we open this, um... The first cell to the left... Has Old Fang and Shield. Alright, so we get that. After that, I think what I might have them do is just hug the left hand path. We got a golden rune. That's where we first came in. Yeah, I think this is the path they want to go down. Did y'all fucking stop? Damn, bro. I think this is the path that I want to go. Or no, does this take me out? Let me check. Root password is FCB. Oh no, this is the exit. Alright, so I came in here. What did we find? We found, uh... We got all of that loot. Then we left here. I went in here. And here I had, like, a piece of loot in there. I think everything else was empty. Did this have one? It might have. Then when we get back out, that's the exit. Then we go down. Okay. Continuing down, um, when we drop, we're gonna go right for a golden moon. Behind some boards. The, the, okay. 
Isn't there a room with a rune arc? We're, we're still working our way through it. Stone word, rune, wakizashi. That, we get that, and then as we continue along, um, once we hit the big opening, I think that's where we want to go, is left. Let me go check this. I don't think there's any more cells this way. So I think this is where the rats, where we got to the rats, right? Yeah, this is the rat ambush, and after the rat ambush, we came through here, okay. So I think I know where everything's at. Let me just check these rooms one more time. Nothing there. Well, let me let me let me really check. Nothing. Nothing. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Drop. Go this way. Um, when we reach the next room. So the next room with corpses, we want to go left. First, we take the middle path. No, nothing in this path. So we go left through the big gate. Hang on a second. Um, what's this place called? Bill Cave. stone and we have two nothing behind that one okay um to mention that as soon as they drop down it's boss fight time do something god that's fucking terrible fight with a duelist. No, I don't think Lutel is that good either. There's much, much, much better choices. Uh, instead of leaving, though, we want to go into Limgrave and pick up the Regalia of Echoid. And a glowstone. And I think that's it. Alright, then we're gonna head back to the jail cave grace. Just 
Stormhawk any good? I haven't really tried it myself, but I know it gives you a buff, like an attack buff. So next we're gonna head southeast. Um into the Kalid Raypoint ruins. And then we're gonna work our way up. Filthy little buggers. Okay, so we get this, and then, um... Then we continue heading southeast for another grace. Oh, there's some rot grease. Oh god. Rot grease, and then poison bloom in the corner. And I think that's about it. And then I wanna just skadoodle southeast. Forward for a sort of that's where we back to Cave Grace. Um, leave going southeast for a uh, meteoric blade at Kalid Waypoint Ruins. Snag rot grease and rot grease and what? Rot grease and um, poison bloom. I'm sorry for the going for Moomail, but still at the beginning of the game. What would you recommend as priority melee? Uh, I don't even worry about melee. You could use like a rapier, I guess. I would just use rock toss until you're strong enough to get Moonvale. Why would people stop at 150? It's stupid. Just level to 250 and you have way more options to choose from. Because that's the point, Esmo. You, you... You accidentally arrived at the correct answer. The whole idea because of 150 is that builds still have identity. At 150, there is a difference between a strength build and a sorcerer, or a faith build and a katana guy. At 200, 250, etc., that distinction is blurred. So you're a strength dude that also can cast super strong spells which if you're playing on your own that's fine but for the sake of pvp and playing with other players if everybody is an everything man then you know there's no distinction it's not like oh hey yeah my buddy's a mage and i'm like a tank and our other dude he uses bows no you're just all everything men you, you, you lose the identity and that identity is important especially for pvp One fifty can anybody who thinks one fifty can do everything has no fucking idea what one fifty is is possible with. Literally every build I've done is one fifty, and all of the 
All of the hybrid style 150 builds are already stretched thin. They're already all stretched thin. The hybrid cat, like any any hybrid 150 build, if you're trying to do uh if you're trying to do like a little bit of melee and a little bit of magic or two schools of magic or even quality builds to get the stats that you would want at 150 to like tackle new game plus and do some pvp you're probably going to be using a source seal which means you're taking more damage while a pure 150 like pure dex or pure strength is going to shine because they're not making any sacrifices meanwhile at 120 a hybrid caster won't function at 120 it just won't like good example here you know what let me show you all this guy real fast. This is the, the new lore build I'm working on. Build's done. I just got to record it. So build like this. This is a, a hybrid pyromancy build. We have one soft cap at 60 vigor. Um, I could have taken faith up to 80, but instead I decided to get a little bit more points into strength and dex because I want this build to be able to actually be competent with its weapons. If I decided to knock 30 points off of this build, let's talk about where I could knock 30 points off. Uh, my endurance is exactly high enough that I'm not fat rolling with my gear. Uh, my vigor, I'm not sacrificing vigor. Actually, I feel like that could be a little lower. Let me see. Maybe 1.2. No, we're at 0.694. Yeah, so uh, my mind, if I go lower than 27 mind, I won't be able to cast my spells. I mean, I could maybe take two points out, but the point is we can't really sacrifice mind. My vigor is at the soft cap, which gives me enough health to survive half the bullshit in this game. And my endurance can't really go anywhere. So mind, vigor, and endurance are locked. Uh, strength and dex, if I went down to the bare requirements at 9 and 16 on strength and dex. Oh, uh, let's see, at 9, 20, well, that's 21 points, and then 4 points, that's 25 points. So if I went down to just weapon requirements, not even getting any stats on my weapon, but just the bare minimum requirements I could make this build at 125 my weapons would be fucking useless they would like kind of smack but they wouldn't really hurt um, and I wouldn't even be at the faith soft cap so my spells would be okay but they wouldn't be murdering people at 150 though I have more flexibility if I wanted to have a big emphasis on faith I could probably sacrifice uh, you know, a couple points in dex and a couple points in strength to get my faith up to 80 and hit that soft cap, and then my spells will hit really hard. If I want to go less faith, I could get my strength and my dex a lot higher, and my spells won't do much. But, you know, point is, this actually functions at 150. It would not function at 125. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't even consider this an everyman build. This has, like, this has some basic weapons. 915... And 816, like these are super low requirement weapons. These aren't anything crazy. Uh, the armor is fairly modest. The, the, I have some poise coming in from here, but even then I'm only at 53 poise. So it's not like I'm a poise monster. And then even just to hit stat thresholds and not fat roll, I need to have on an Erd Tree plus two and a Radigan Source Seal. So I'm already going to be taking like 15 to 10% more damage just using that. And that's just to, like, get me up to the stat caps. And I haven't even done anything crazy with this. I have Pyromancies, a couple support spells, and then, like, one Dragon spell and Frenzy Burst. So, you know what? I'm, I'll, I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep all my characters at 150. Because at 150, your build actually is, like, possible. Whereas 120, 125, you're, like, a shadow of yourself. At 125, you'll be giving up at least two talismans and have a very limited weapon set. Yeah, exactly. Like, that, that's fucking boring. So, I don't care. I'm making all my builds at 150. I've already done a video on the meta. I think it should be 150. If people want to have a strict duelist meta at, at 100 or something, then that's, you know, that's a different crowd.
I think 150 is good though. Because the other thing is like even even PvP aside, like I'm not gonna level up and then stop leveling at 100 for PvP, and then try to get through more of the game when I'm gimping myself. That's not fun. I think of 86 is lower. 86 is very low. <laughs> Inescapable frenzy. You need to be like a slug to actually let it kill you, though. Like you just kind of like walk away from it, and it doesn't hurt you. So, frankly, I don't. I don't have any. Uh, you know, people are dying to that. They're dying because they're they're fucking idiots. All right, so we're going to mark those two points. I love the stutters. Thank you, FromSoft, for your great PC performance. It's so good. Any tips on beating the gargoyle? Yeah, just get good and kill it. Should be a grace around here. Grace, 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 grace. I get higher so I can maybe see it. Hmm, should be like right here ish. Oh, there it is. Level 60 low for Caria? Uh, not really. I mean, this character is what? 66, and we just did Caria Mana the other day, so 60 is probably fine. Exploring naturally and trying to do content, I'm going to blow over 150. 150 seems dumb to me. Well, 150 is, I mean, one, you're not going to blow over 150. I finished at 150 with like, I think, 5 million runes extra. So, if you were to use every soul you found while leveling, you'd probably be like 160, 165. But at that point, you start to become an everyman, so... anything um I could have him I mean there's really nothing here this merchant sucks but he's yes he's a good source of permanent fire arrows maybe um He says there's an ash of war around here. It's got to be a ball, if there is one. Oh, these are two different ashes. Yeah, here the ball. Hmm. Northwest. Hang on. Um. Uh, northeast for a grace near the swamp edge, then a merchant nearby, and another grace just northwest. <laughs> Still, um, That, and then we're going to continue up north for another grace. Did we clear the Celia Crystal Tunnel? I think we did. We cleared Gale Tunnel. I 
I feel like you should probably be around 75 by the time you're fighting Radon. There's some secret thing to discover with the sword graveyards. There's no reason in FromSoft there's too many of them. I mean, I think it's just sword graveyards. Also, I think this is the last Souls game we're getting for a hot minute. I think we're going to see FromSoft pump out like Armored Core, maybe some DLC for this. I don't think we're going to get another, another like Souls Souls game for a good bit of time. Just personal opinion. I feel like that's, that's what's going to happen here. Uh, Street of Sage Ruin. We got Rock Sling earlier and Traveler and the Perfume Bottle and the Meteorite Staff. They didn't fight Battle Mage Hughes. What the fuck? Isn't he in a jail? This wiki says Battle Mage Hughes is over here. I don't remember that. Uh, huh. Huh. All right, so now that they've got all that, we still have the dragon, and then we have down there. I think we should do this stuff first. Get get the get the rotty rot done. Should be a jail there. Yes. Okay. Um. So now that we have this, we're gonna have him go to stray from Caled Highland North. Or no, we should have him go here, Aonia Swamp Shore, and we're gonna have him go north towards the ruins to hit that that dude. Sekiro was a closed loop story though. There's no like there's no reason they would do it. Is the jail up top? So better to do wield or two hand depends on your weapon. Build record early before I completed the mana quest. Is some way to get the talisman later in the game? What talisman are you talking about? Where is this jail? Is it over there? Seems up high. Uh, take her cameo ain't even that good. See, I'm stuck in combat. I didn't, there we go. Where's Battle Mage Hughes at? Isn't he later? Celia Evergel. So he's up. All right. So the wiki's just wrong. <laughs> yeah, he's up near the near Kaelin. Okay, so instead, um, so we are going to start him from the Swamp Shore. We already did the Street of Sage Ruins. So I'm going to, actually we could start from here, it doesn't matter. We want to go up to like here and do the cave. So we could start from here. All right, we can start from Inner Inner Ionia. 
Now move to Inner Aeonia. Didn't do Street of Sage. Do it now. I'm just going to make mention like, hey, Street of Sage is over here. We did it earlier in the walkthrough. You should do it if you haven't. Big beetle. No, I mean, I get people want a stagger bar, but just having an extra thing on, on the head of every enemy, I don't think that would have been good. I know there's like a cave here. I think we need to do, we need to jump down. Fuck. What the fuck is this? Can we get to that cave right now? Or is that something we do later? Do we have to jump down the cliff? I know there's a there's a cave like here-ish. I think it's on the side of the cliff, maybe. Okay, so we should get the invasion to proc. So from the grace, I should just have him head head south for the invasion. Where's my invasion? Shouldn't I be getting invaded by now? Uh, where the fuck does the invader spawn? So I'm going to have him take down the Scarlet Knights first. Millicent, come here, sweetie. After that, I'm going to take him over here. Commander O'Neill. And the easiest way to do this is you just kill off his bullshit. he buffs them. Gang's dead. He must be like really resistant to magic because he is not 
That guy is just taking hits. Look at him go. Oh, never mind. He got fucked up. Poison him right away, I'll torrent. <laughs> uh, and I head into the heart to fight the dude. Okay. Mm so after that. Um, let me see. Alright, so then we want to go... Southeast. So we want to go southeast for a beetle. And then we're just gonna kind of loop around the swamp, grabbing some loots. So, Beetle, Somber 4, Aeonian Butterfly. Come on, man. I'm taking notes. Could you get off of my dick? Making me... There we go. Uh, afterwards, go southeast for a Beetle. Then you south for two items. Um... So we grab those two loots. And we grab a rune arc, a sacramental bug, and some smithing stones. Um, after that, we just keep going south, and there should be a grace coming up for us. Uh, oh, we have it already. Okay, um, let's see, uh, south for two more items. A bit over the hill is a grace. Okay, so from the grace, um, I don't know if we got it, um. Moth flight. I don't remember which of these we got in the walkthrough already. I think the Knight Rider is... He's, uh... The Knight Rider here is one skill, and then, like, down... This may be the one we didn't get in the walkthrough. Let me see. So I remember we did get one poison skill in the walkthrough already, and I was like, there you go, y'all can use that if you want poison. We did not get poisonous. I mean, maybe we did grab poisonous mist. I'll just make a note. Rest. We did? Okay, so I didn't grab the, the shiny up here in the walkthrough, but I grabbed the other shiny, right? Yeah, we'll get the invisible dude.
It's the most fun build to use. That is an entirely opinionated question. Of which there is no answer. It's like asking what is the best food to eat. Like, you can't... It's, everyone's gonna have a different answer, dude. I should point out this merchant, too. No, the ramen place wasn't open yet, man. I was really excited for it, and I called him, and I was like, Hey, you're, uh, you know, online it said y'all were going to be open today, but it, it shows currently closed, and, uh, you know, really wanted to, to follow up on that. And they're like, Oh, yeah, we're going to need a couple more, a couple more days before we're open. And I was like, It's like a couple weeks, two, three weeks, I think they said. I was like, Fuck. Stupid. Uh, where, where did he just go? Hey, hey, Knight Rider, where you at? Come on. Come here. I'm going to beat your ass. Here I come attacking fast. Yeah, you, you felt like you were tough shit when all I had was a fucking rapier. How do you feel against the level 10 moon veil? Come and get it, come and get it, come and get it right now. Am I spamming moon veil? You're goddamn right I am. Fuck this guy. You play like a bitch. Whoa. There's poison mouth fight. Okay, um, bum 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 No bird, go away. Okay, so... Let me check, let me read through the notes. Uh, so it said that now we're gonna move to... Uh, in Arionia, if you didn't, do the Street of Sage. Get the annoying shiny guy if you missed it. Otherwise, we're gonna head southwest for Clean Rot Knights and get invaded by Millicent. Take her out. Then head into the heart to fight the dude. Kill his summons, beat his ass. I'll try again afterwards. Go southeast for a beetle. Uh, then continue south for two items. South for three more items. Um, then we're going to hit this. Make it nighttime. Say hi to the merchant. Kill the knight. And then we'll go down here to get him that other poison ability. Um, after that, we want to go southeast for a death bird. And this is a leveled up death bird, so they may not even be able to tackle this right now. What's up, idiot? Death's poker. And then we're going to jump over here and fight the dragon. What is this called? Uh Um, 
Dabba, 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 dabba. Actually, I think we might be able to like pull this out. I'm curious to see how much damage the rot breath is going to deal to us. Mm, Papa needs int. Papa needs int. Look at that. That's dookie. Moonville Ashabor does not give bleed. Ludo, can you be useful? Okay, fight me. the super deadly one so he rears up to do that when he rears up that's when we want to get the fuck away like you just want to mount and outrun that bitch That was a normal one. Do you want to come hit me? Dunk, 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 dunk on you. Dunk, 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 come a dunking on you. Okay, from here. Um, from here, we are going. Let's see, I got you, I got that. Uh, let's go down to get the dragon catacombs. This and the Caleb catacombs. Oh, I need a super rot breath hall ass. Uh, afterwards, head south for the cathedral and then out east for Caleb catacombs. Takes care of a Zeke's. Okay, Mr. Banish Knight. It's enough of your bullshit. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook. Oh my god. Uh, mention that Rot Breath is fucking good. 
guy spanked me at 74. It's all about your vigor. My other build's probably gonna beat his ass even harder. Okay, after this, we just head east. Missed the windy crystal tier. I know, it's like over here. We're gonna get that a little bit later. Because it'll make more sense to get it kind of as we're... Cause it's like right in here, I think. So um, we're just getting the catacombs. We're gonna get that before we're gonna go there, Windy Crystal, down to the bullshit. So we're not there yet. Okay, aren't there catacombs like right here or somewhere? Right up further, maybe. I know there's catacombs around here. Because we can grab that seed for now. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. That looks right. Oh no! Fuck you. Endurance is important so that you don't fat roll. Once you're not fat rolling, you don't really need it. Unless you suck at attacking and you're burning through all your stamina. I see something. I want a new Ash and a new Summon. We gotta remember where they all are. Mm. Night Sacred Ground, we're not yet. Mm, Ronnie Quest, no. Radon, no. Sainted Heroes Grave, no. Damn, so Lutel is the only ain't legendary Ash, and we can even get this early. That's doo doo. That is dookie. There's no strat. No, there is. We're gonna beat Radon's ass. Yeah, I might be going to Oleg. Actually, let's go to Oleg. I don't know. I wanted to use something else because I used Oleg in the other playthroughs, you know? I used Oleg in the whole Let's Play. 
Tish isn't you can't even get Tish until super fucking late, man. We're talking about like people you can get now. Tish is super far. Tish you don't get until you can go up to where Ronnie's quest line like ends. Greetings, are you here for spirit? Hey, let's see. Who who could you level up? There's Dina. There's Oleg, Latena. Oh, who else should I try out? Um I could try out Pumpkinhead, give him another chance. Or Mr. Arrow Man. Let's try out Pumpkinhead. We're gonna try out Mr. Pumpkin. I remember testing them and I didn't think they were that good, but if, since I just need a tank here, he might be exactly what the doctor ordered, you know what I mean? I feel like summons are a bit noobish. Well, I mean, hey, it's okay to have an uninformed, incorrect opinion. You know. Nothing wrong with that. You should obviously change your opinion when presented with new information, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with being wrong. Lots of people are wrong. All right, let me. I'm, I'll be serious for a second. Let me ask you this: Why? Why do you think summons are noobish? I want you to explain why summons are noobish. Is it? Is it because you think the summons make the game easier, and therefore they're a more noob thing? Is that it? I have not heard a single argument for why summons are noobish that I can't destroy. They're a crutch. Oh, okay. Well, I got a question. Do you do you level up your weapon, BK? Like when you're playing, you know how like you can you, know, you can make your weapon a higher level. Do you do that, or do you just keep your weapon at level one? Because you know, leveling up your weapon to give it more damage—that's that's also a crutch for sure. I mean, I've seen people beat the game with like level one. On, you know, characters, unleveled weapons, so... You know, in fact, do you- do you level up- so your fists- fists only SL1 naked run? Cause if you're not doing that, I mean, you're really just a fucking noob, you know? Anybody that's not doing SL1 fists naked is- is relying on lots of crutches. I mean, leveling... You know, Ashes of War, yep, those are definitely a crutch. Uh, I mean, fuck, even having, like, a flask of Crimson Teals, like, imagine letting a player heal multiple times, what a fucking crutch. Am I right, you know? Like, <laughs> these players, they just don't know what a hard game is anymore, they just want their hand held. I mean, to be honest, like, even if you're just watching my videos, that's, that's probably the biggest crutch. I mean, my videos are designed to, like, make the game easier and try to, like, teach you how to play stuff. So, if you're watching them, man, fucking big crutch energy right there. Alright, so we found this. Where the fuck is the lever for this shithole? Mm, 
Where is the lever? It's gonna try and heal through the rot, which is a terrible idea, but... There's the lever up top, this is before I jump down. See, I didn't see the lever at all in here. This is basically the entrance to this place. Invisible wall down in the middle. Oh my god, this place sucks. Fuck is it at? Oh, ma'am. Woo, my health is fucking low. Goals to do a Guitar Hero controller run? Well, first you have to find a Guitar Hero guitar. Because those are not easy to come by these days. Pretty, pretty vintagey item there. Oh, Cemetery Shade. Cool, cool, cool. It's gonna probably grab me and fuck me up. God, I hate this thing. Get him, Pumpkey! Oh! Now! Pumpkin head zug. Kindred of rot ashes. Oh, that sounds fucking delightful. I bet he's just a blast to have at parties. See, what you need to do... You need to play with... The Logitech Momo Force Feedback Steering Wheel. And you use that to steer your character around the world. But you can only do attacks with your Dance Dance Revolution dance pad. I mean, that's what the real players are doing. You need... If, if you're not doing that, you're just noob. You know? Only noobs don't do that. Okay, back to Southern Aeonia Swamp Bank. Alright, so from the Swamp Bank, now we're gonna have them go south. Oh, love that glitchy list. When they see the bird, they're in the right spot. Right, isn't it like right around here? We might have grabbed the tear already. So I remember it being like right around here. Or it's like in a nest with more birds. Uh, where is it at? I think we got it. Ah. 
Yeah, it should be right here, right, chat? Anyone remember? I think the tier is down here, usually. I think you get that. And then after that... I don't think there's anything else out in this field. I think it's just, like, death awaits you, and that's it. The shrimp bro linked to dung eater? Yes. <coughs> I hear a shiny. I think the shiny is up on that cliff. Ashavor Cragblade. Q. Would you recommend making a push for Altus Plateau? Not for a long time. Long as in me love you long time. Is power stancing in any of the builds? Power stancing is in the next build. It's all about that power stancing. Power stancing. When I attack, I look like I'm dancing. Power stancing. Power stancing. When I attack, I look like I'm dancing. Isn't that a fun song? No! Ow! Fuck me! Alright, back to Southern Area Twop, head south for a tier, then south more for a grace. Uh, the cliff near the uh, big tower has Crag Blade Ash. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking. All right, let me, well, let's, let's get, let's just go down there. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, I feel good. That's a good neck pop. Let me get my shit. How do you get the patches crouch gesture? Have you tried asking patches nicely? Have you said patches ubu senpai? I want gesture. If not, then you should try that. You're gonna stick with the same build for the whole walkthrough? Yes. Or could I submit a build idea? We're not taking any at the moment. I already got enough on my plate. Uh, we get that. Yeah. It's a useful ladder. <clears throat> okay, so this is the next question. Um, what I think we're gonna do. So before we go, before we go north over here, here's, here's kind of what I'm thinking. I want to do this. After I do that, I'm thinking we take them up into Dragon Burrow maybe and do the Dragon Burrow stuff and then redo Radon after that. Or do you think we save this shit for after Radon? Because I mean, we, we, they've already killed the dragon. But the Divine Tower has that hidden boss in it. That's fucking hard. Uh, there are some jails. There's a jail here. There's a dungeon here. There's the PvP here. Are we fighting Radon this stream? No. After, after, after. Alright, what do y'all think about this? About Celia? 
Like, should we do Red Main Castle and then do Celia and all of that bullshit and then do Radon? Or should we knock out Celia before we do Red Main Castle? Because if we do Celia first, then it's like only thing left is coming down here. My friend says Millennia was super easy. Maybe you had a good build, bro. We're done first, Celia first, Celia. Yeah, because Celia will probably be a whole episode of its own. Castle, Celia, Radon. Celia, Red Main, then Radon. Red Main, Celia, Radon. Because I could, I could hold off on the dragon. Uh, hang on a second. Do, do, do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Redon last. Red main Celia Redon. I think we gotta put it to a poll, which looks great because I need to go pee. Because Celia doesn't even have a boss, really. So if we, because if we do Celia, once we get here, instead of doing the dragon and all that shit. I think we would hit up this, we would do Celia, we would do the Crystal Tunnel, we'd get up to the church, and you know, talk to Millicent, and then we'd kind of wrap there. Then, we'd come down here, we'd do the dragon, we'd do the catacombs, we'd get over to here, and then we make our way here. And then we do all this, and then we do... Ronnie, and then we do Radon. Celia has those Nox priests as well. Also, those treasure chests are sealed away. Well, they get unsealed when you do it. Mm -hmm. Red, yeah, Red Main is going to be an episode all on its own. Radon's fight is in Red Main. It doesn't work like that. You need to trigger Radon. After the Red Main fight, you need to start the Festival of the Stars. Red Main to get them the Ruins Greatsword. What do we get going through Celia? Ugh. Lusat staff. Oh, that's garbage anyway. Um, I mean, mages already got some good shit. Mages are, are sitting on a fucking moon veil and rock sling. Ugh. Best staff in the game. Get that shit out of here. I know I'm not very smart, but I'm having a hard time with weapon scaling. Can you explain it for dummies, please? Weapons have grades like a report card. S is the best, and then it goes A, B, C, D, E. A higher grade means more damage with that stat. So S scaling strength will give you more bonus points for having high strength than D scaling strength. And so you want to level up the stats that your weapon has good scaling with.
Pretty close pull. Okay, <laughs> we're voting for Celia. I mean, Nox Flowing Sword is kind of crap, though. Let me see where we're at on the notes. Um. Alright, um. <clears throat> it's for Death Bird and Poker. Um. Okay. Um. From here, we're going to head to Celia, so... Okay. So yeah, we're gonna we'll after, when we get here instead of going dragon and then catacombs and then red main, we're going to go Yeah, we're doing the death birds for him too. We're going this way. I gotta watch out for Mr. Potts. Stay wide of the dog. Oh, I am quite hooked to us. A strap, don't fret. Should you accept, I will teach. I need you. Her name resting at the. Oh, as promised. Go on. Now let. Mm -hmm. Well, well, the work of a true. Can you give me a as well, may? Which staff after Meteor? Boss staff, bro. This is PC. I have the need. Will you give it? I will reward. Millicent tended to a wretched f Do you that I would show. Well, I'm the one mere bear she is, but the rotting I doubt that you. Oh, I'm a <laughs> All right, so we do that. Let me see. Um, burn through his dialogue. Hey, Trigger Festival, talk to Rani. Light three flames and break the seal. Wow, what a secret. Is there a viable build using the Sword of Night and Flame and the Clean Rot Armor? There is. It's called Use the Sword of Rot and Flame and Put on Clean Rot Armor. Alright, we gotta light three towers. Uh, where are our three towers at? Is this a tower? No, no, no. This place is gonna feel real good after the second zone. Like, yeah, you're gonna fight a bunch of the shit we fought, but now you just get to run around on your horse fucking slapping them before they can react. They wanna grab the red main painting. Oh, 
Okay, where do we climb up these three fuckers at? Don't we like go all the way over here and start by going up that? Yeah, so I tell them to haul ass to the steps. And then once they're on the steps, they go across to the buildings. And then they start hopping on some rooftops. Make some notes. people are having trouble with Henricus. I'm guessing they just did shit out of order. I mean, to be honest, it's not like it really matters. Talisman, <coughs> the talisman you get from him is mostly fucking useless. I'm just gonna be like, there's the second tower, there's the third tower. Ashivor double slash. Oh, which direction is this? So that's Stonework Key and Tower Number Two. Uh, or there's that, that Grace. Tell people to go up the steps.
Yeah, we're gonna have him do this one first. We'll have him hit this, and then the, they can jump. They can hit this guy, and then they can hop back on over here. And then afterwards, they're gonna go this way. They'll get some loot. They'll go over there, get the loot. They'll get that tower. And they'll climb across and they'll get that tower. And then as they get that tower. Ah, bah humbug. I might have them grab this one after the first tower. So they get this guy. Alright, that's the third tower. So after that... We want to drop down. There's like three different chests to hit. So if they just run along this path... Uh, no, we should get them the grace now that towers are done. Because then I can make a plan from the grace. So right after the stairs, there's one immediately up the stairs for Night Comet. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to go just around the corner. And that'll get us whatever this is. Spell Drake. Okay, um, and now we are going to continue following around. Do we want them to go to the east? Go to the east and up some stairs. Uh, break the cart. Yeah, just after the card. Fuck off, dickhead. Shitty Burger King mask. Continue around and up some stairs, then break a cart to get a imbued key from a chest. Loop to the lily and then continue around. So we loop, we go, we get that, we get that guy, and then we continue around. Fuck off, asshole. We get the chests. Then we continue around. The 
this way. And we're gonna continue southwest. And then around the building. Isn't there like another chest here? Rot dogs, my favorite. Stop. Fuck off of me. We get the poison grease by the stairs. We get the poison grease and we head down. And then we go, where is it? This little walkway that leads me to the last chest. There's one more chest, isn't there? Is that all the chests, chat? Isn't there something else here? Or is that it for the town? So I think- I think we get those three chests and then we go back up here. And this gives us another grace. Um, let's see. We got the key. It's really in tier. We got Night Comet. We got the painting. We got the key. We got Double Slash. Staff of Lost and Spell Drake. Yeah, we got it all. We got it all. <clears throat> so they're just going to get this grace. Well, should we go do Millicent right now? I mean, it doesn't really matter. We could. No. After that... We're going to go back to Celia Understair. No, yeah, poison grease by stairs, then head back to... Because there's two big seals that open. There's the one we just went through. And then there's the one that's like... This way, somewhere, over there. Oh, this is a fight, huh? This is a joke fight. That's what we want. <sighs> Poison grease by stairs, then head north. The Kusari Gama does not drop. Or if it does, it's like the world's lowest fucking drop rate because no one's seen it. Alright, um... Celia Understair... Uh, yeah, let's go back to Celia Understair. We'll get the Rot Ashes, and I think we can do the Crystal Tunnel now, too. So we do a Celia Understair from there. Isn't the rot ashes like right here? Yeah, this shit looks like it. Rotten stray. And then we're gonna head back into that shitty place we got teleported to ages ago. Except now we can actually clear it. I think we grabbed all the rooftop items. 
How are we at on time? Three. I think I can clear Celia Crystal Tunnel and advance Millicent's a bit. Back at the Grace, head northwest for Rotten Ashes and into Celia Crystal Tunnel. Okay. I mean, those aren't even like real bosses. Not even those don't count. Those are like joke bosses. The crystal tunnel boss is pretty hard. I think they can tackle it at this point. I think they should be fine. Fuck off! I followed all your steps, so now I can't co-op until it worked. Please help. I have no idea what you're asking, Robert. We have done nothing in my walkthrough that would prevent you from co-oping. If you can't co-op, your internet probably isn't working. I think I killed... I think it makes sense to kill the three parasites first. And then take our time to, to go through this and loot. And then they can just work through this from the top. That's a lot easier. Uh, rush through and kill the three parasite centipedes. Then work your way back down from the top grabbing loot. Yeah, because those guys have insane tracking. So I, I'm going to have them just all ass up here. They'll kill that after they've killed that stuff. Then they can, you know, take their time. And they can go in here. If they didn't get the thing that's in here, they can get that. They can go over here. They don't need to worry about that for now. They don't need to worry about that. Go over here, kill the dudes. Walkthrough. We did three invasions for the quest line. Is that necessary? Because I can't place no have internet. No. Those are offline invasions. They're NPCs you're killing. You get that later, so there's no reason to worry about missing it. Yeah, 
Rock Blaster. Some more Smithing 5. Oh, so I don't want to do this just yet. Fell again. Fuck me. Playing a Moonvale build give you much more flexibility for pure Dex Katana build. Moonvale is a sorcery weapon. It's a sorcery weapon. Uh, int. This is for intellect. If you are not using sorcery. If you're not a mage. You shouldn't even use Moonvale. There's better options. Jack, what do you want, buddy? Slow down there. Hey, hey, stop that. Fucking centipede, man. Dragon moon grease, smithing stone. Um, that's where we came from, right? Afterwards, take out doubles. that thing is dead and I think we're at our boss it wasn't too bad not too bad at all I already kicked the ladder down pretty sure I did at least did I not I did. All right, pumpkin head, it's time for you to shine, baby. We need to kill a big boy. Go 
delay. Rocks. Sit your fallen beast ass down. Somber six smithing a seven gravity stone a chunk of ball bearing. flavor of my vaping burnt coil it's this new flavor that you get from not changing your coil when you're supposed to tastes fucking terrible twenty five vigor too low wow what the fuck are you even doing out there with twenty five vigor bro holy shit look I haven't even gone there and I'm at fucking forty four vigor I think this gets me some point. That gives me one, and I get three from this. Should be like 60 vigor by the time you're out there. Right, after this, we go back into the town. Ride past the shit and head up the stairs for a new grace. Too many people. I was just on the, the podcast with Maddie and Dustin. We were talking to Elden Ring stuff, and I was like, the number one reason people think this game is hard is because no one levels their fucking vigor. No one. No one levels their vigor. Like you should easily be 40 vigor by, by this point. Easy. You moving into endgame, you should be fucking 60. But people don't level health. Everyone's like, I need to have my 60 int. I need to have my 50 strength. I need to have lots of endurance. And then they're like, why am I being one shot? No one levels health. I'm in the capital with 20 vigor? That's- that's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. You accidentally killed D? Well, you, you fucked up in a different sort of way. Let me make it daytime so I can see uh, where we at on time. I think I'm going to make it to Millicent and then I'll probably wrap up there. I think we get we get to Millicent and then that. Well, let's let's do maybe maybe I just do the Church of the Plague shit. Like, I can't, I don't think I can do Celia Hideaway yet. So, doing that, that, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we're doing. There's a couple more things. We're gonna wrap up. I wanna get, get all of my Southern Kalid shit done. I don't remember, was there, was there loot up on these rooftops? I know there is later, on the later rooftops. Come on. Where's my second horsey jump? You know, now that I'm like learning Kayla, it ain't even that bad. Bum 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 bum.
Grab the starlight shards and head into the church. Okay, hello. My flesh it is a curse. You to quell it. Never mind. I would rather than simply would you mind. Oh. <clears throat> well, that was easier than expected. But, but why? Now we rest. Jackie, your claws are too sharp, baby. place always have lots of sacramental buds when it resets. Third Fleet with Ruri? Uh, I don't know. We've talked about it, but it's just hard right now because no one has time. I don't have time. I My apologies. Everything, even the nightmares. Not that I could, but. I'm with the needle. My destiny. It's all thank. My name is Miller. I'm with the needle. My destiny. Destiny. So, should we meet Millicent? So, what do y'all think about Celia Hideaway? Celia Hideaway has Crystallines, Crystal Torrent, which is shit. And crystal spear. And so the thing is, there's there's a. Well, I guess we could go f get the dungeon. Let me go get the dungeon, just just to grab it, and I'll just mention that we're not going to do it until much later, when it's part about a side quest. Co-op series? No. No, it would take way too much fucking time. How much later until you can get the legendary? Uh, you would need to have gotten Comet Azure, so... You would have had to do the volcanic region already? Uh, swing by Celia Hideaway.
Yo, Kaled's actually like really fucking easy. We're we're almost done, like most of Kaled. Compared to like Liernia. After that, we should head to Heart of Aeonia. And go to Gallery Shack. So proceed through Killable Minor Thing, then back to Sully towards the back streets up a hill or off Star Charge. After the dialogue, after that, we just gonna go meet Gallery. Sixty percent of Kaled is redone. <laughs> uh, it's funny because it does feel like that at times. Oh, something. So I decide I've only perhaps. Well, I must. I must. Well, I must. I must. And then we reset again. Yeah, Redon Catacombs don't fuck around. Definitely uh, one of the hardest catacombs in the game, I think. You just get bonked so fucking hard by some of the stuff there. Forgiving me. And Stella, you've been as thank at the lost. And then we can pick up this stuff. Indeed. It seems them, however, no, as I've a is to be for Okay. And we are good. So after that, then back to Gallery Shack. Exhaust Millicent dialogue. Quit reload for Gallery and some spells. After after that shit, ugh. then we're going to head on out here. We're going to do the dragon. Then we're going to do this. Then we're going to hit the catacombs. Then we're going to make our way over to there. Uh, so at this point, the only thing left would be Celia hideaway. And we're going to do that as part of a side quest later. So there's really no point in doing it now. Um, bum, 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 bum. Did we, did we miss anything? I don't think we missed anything. I'm like trying to look through the wiki map. Just to see if there's anything on there that I don't have. But I have shit that ain't even on the fucking wiki map, so... I guess we're good? Yeah, I think the next thing would be... Ugh, you missed a jail? <clears throat> the entire right spot has nothing. This is, this is a, a boss arena. And there's one dungeon and it's over here. The Ever Jail and the Forgotten Cave. Aren't those from the top though? Don't you have to drop down to reach that cave? Like you have to go... Is it, the Ever Jail is over there too. the cave where you get the golden scarab? Where is that at? <sighs> I'm talking about abandoned cave. Isn't the abandoned cave? We, we talked about that. The abandoned cave just approached from above. So you wouldn't do it right now. We're, we're strictly talking about Southern Kaled. So, so if I were to draw a line, we're talking about everything that is like here. That's what we're aiming on. We're not we're not touching Celia Hideaway. We can't do the abandoned cave. Cave is straight east of the telescope in the ravine. So we can get to that now? Someone was saying we had to drop down. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. All right, let's head there then. I thought, I swear we went over there and I didn't fucking see this cave. So I should have players just run along the smoldering wall.
There's just, there's so much to Kayla that's literally just like a fucking wasteland. Like, there's... There's nothing else out here. Is this thing? Are there really only three runes up here? This sucks. Oh. Where even are we? Can we just cross up over here into Dragonborough? Sure as shit looks like we just jumped into Dragonboro. Yeah, we did. Okay. I want to go run where all those dogs are doing stuff. I feel like there might be loot there. I know. I'm just... I know. I know. I know we saw it. Calm down. I'm checking for other shit. What are y'all snacking on over here? Ah, some beast bones. It's just fucking bones. Ah, let me alone. Ah, fuck. Oh, hit him. Eh, hit your friend in the face, idiot. You have to go to Nakron to get the Jerry Jar's arsenal. No, you don't. And also, we're not doing that right now. They should be... Great Jar's arsenal is like a post Radon thing. Oh! Alright, where is it at? Should be like right here. There's the cave. Okay. Alright, and we go. Ta-da! Is this it? Where are we at? Where is that? We go down lower. Is it over there? Is that the cave I want? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty fucking promising. That looks like our spot. That looks like our spot. Oh god, no. Oh, I did come over here earlier, and I was like, what is this thing guarding? Cave is so dark, I cannot see shit. Okay, so this place looks like it's filled with rot and poison and shit. I'm sure it's gonna be fucking blast. Alright, look at the map. Figure out when we want to hit this up. Um... It's a good bit earlier. Um, um, go along the smoldering wall. Head south along the cliff till you find a Okay. Like how it's called abandoned cave. Like are caves ever really abandoned? I mean it's a cave. Oh no. Oh god. Ugh. Oh, this place blows. I've never been here. This place suck big dick. <coughs> yeah, I know the jail's upper, Caleb. We're saving that for later. If this is gonna be like this, I need to grab them, um... I can't even get out. Um, I can die. Um, I want them to have like Bloodhound Step if they're doing this. 
Is that... I think Bloodhound Step is the dude... Yeah, we can probably do that. So we would have them get some stuff and then they're gonna circle and do all this shit and then boop 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 and then booty 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 boop and then booty 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 boop and then booty 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 boop. Let's go see how hard this guy is. I think they can they can fuck him up. You know, we're not instant killing the Knights Cavalry, right? This is a walkthrough. We're here to teach people how to get good at the game and beat stuff not all right guys here's this super cool strategy now you're gonna sit here and you're gonna use the lay naked emote and you're gonna lay on the ground and the boss gets so disgusted that he backs up and falls off the cliff no we don't do that shit here that is not what this channel does all right you want cheesy fucking instant kill get eight million soul strats you go to some clickbait bullshit that's not how we do no the point of this series is we are teaching you how to fucking tackle things and how to get good. Not the cheapest, easiest, easy way. Beat all bosses with no fucking effort. Are you 28 and your mom still spoon feeds you at the dinner table? You'll love this new strat. This guy's gonna be- he might actually be a little too hard right now. I mean, we can- this build can kill him. Let me see, because all they really need is like a fucking dagger that has quick step. I don't even need like bloodhound step. Let me just look for some stuff. Yeah, just a regular dagger is fine. Or the wakizashi that they picked up earlier, that's also fine. Either of those are gonna work just fine. Heavy load. Ugh. Okay, where are we at? Um
Ugh, where do these things come from, dude? What happens if I went right at the start? I didn't get to check that. Let me just let this thing kill me. Yeah, you're talking about backstep or back hopping through it. That's another option we could do. There you get him. I don't know, man. I feel like that's a little faster. It's hard to say. I think that's it for that. Okay, equip a dagger or burst up through it. Presence. Head inside and take the first right for drag it, grease, then go around and drop for the uh, serpent bow. They're gonna come here, I'm gonna have them drop and kill this guy, and then they'll grab the serpent thing. And then they're gonna go this way, and they're gonna kill a rat. And then they're gonna go this way, and they're gonna kill this guy. And they're gonna go this way. You're not using FP with backstepping? That's a good point. Actually, as soon as I come in, probably run up and kill the poison mages. We're not here to do speed runs, buddy.
so we go... Alright, so one item when we kill the mages. What is your opinion on wiping back to front as opposed to front to back? No, you always... What kind of question is that? You always wipe front to back, Wami. That's... that's... You always wipe front to back. Fuck. Dumbest question I've seen all night. From here, continue for rats and eventually plant thing around top, kill poison man and clear out plants. I think those are poison claws. Let me see. Uh, yeah, cool. Deadly poison. If only poison wasn't completely fucking garbage in this game. Drag? What are you talking about? Leave my fashion alone. Fashion is fine. Time for friendship. Time for reinforcements. These people are all so terrible. Alright, pumpkin head. Go. Beat his ass. Uh-oh, fucking SpaghettiOs, bitch! Reinforcements? Bitch, I am the reinforcements! Suck on some rocks! Suck on some rocks! Throwing up my rocks, they hit the pots. Suck on them rocks, suck on the rocks. Here they come, we're throwing out the rocks. Hiya! Oh, boo poo trap. Yes, yes, that is what I have. Easy fight. Mm. It's an old ass one. It's all scratched up. You wanna know something funny? I originally bought it because the pattern on it, it looks like Tigrix from Monster Hunter with the blues and the orange. And I was like, oh cool, it's a Tigrix vape. I'll buy that one. And they were like, that's a really good choice. And I was like, cool. I just bought it so it looks like a monster. <laughs> oh, boy. After seeing me. Yeah, the walkthrough. All the walkthroughs are like serious time because we got to go through like a bajillion fucking notes. I can just relax here. I mean, the Let's Plays are casual like this. The Let's Plays are, are pretty jokey, I think. What's ranch sauce? I get a lot of Americans asking for it. Ranch is, uh, ranch is pretty unique. It's not quite as heavy as mayo. It probably has the same consistency as, like, ketchup, I guess. Um, God, I don't even know how to describe ranch. Ranch is such a distinct flavor. Very seasoned. I don't even know. I don't even know. Who can- who can describe ranch? Ranch is such a unique thing. Alright, are we- oh, so what else do we got? We did abandoned cave. 
Yeah, yeah, there's like buttermilk and it's it's a little sweet, but a little savory and I don't know. Yeah, ranch is just its own fucking thing. No, I wouldn't describe it like mayo. Mayo is, is thick. Seasoned mayonnaise, tangy, sour, that's ranch. Buttermilk, cream, salt, garlic, herbs. Yeah, see, that's probably the best description I've seen. Um, alright, I think we're done. So, <clears throat> in terms of, of walkthrough potential, we go boo 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 and we, we grab all this bullshit. So we do this kind of loop. And that's, this is like our, our primary Kalid. So we start here, we're working our way down, Fort Gale, the cave, Kalid waypoints, we're gonna just snag that, and then we're gonna head up, get that, get that, head up to there, head up to there, get some loot, run along the wall, get some stuff, run into the cave. That's probably one episode. Then we're gonna have another episode where it's like, we're going here, we're going to go through, get the stuff in the swamp, we'll go here, we'll kill the night bosses, we'll do Celia, we'll talk to Gowry, we'll do this bullshit, we'll kill the boss in here, we'll kill the boss right here, we'll go over here to do Millicent, we'll go back to Gowry. That might end up being two episodes. Um, and then down south, I'm thinking, we go here, we go here. We do the entryway point, we do this, and then we do red main. And then after red main is done, I think we go back and we talk to Ronnie, and then we come back here again and we do Radon. I think that seems like a good plan. And then after Radon, we can tackle this. So I guess the other question I gotta decide is when do I want to bring them up here to do Dragon Barrow? Because Dragon Barrow can be pretty fucking tricky. Because I'm thinking that after Radon, personally, I think Volcanic Region is easier than Capital. So what I'm thinking maybe is we go to Radon. After Radon, we make our way up here, but we cut almost straight over to Volcanic Time. We do the volcanic region shit, um, except for Riker. We, we, you know, get get the volcano quest line, get up to where Riker is unlocked, etc. Um, we get the stuff to do a little bit of Celia's quest line. We do that, and so I think we we clear. Yeah, I think Radon, volcano. Then the capital, then the sewers. Well, no, maybe, maybe we, um, hmm. Because after, after Radon, we could go do Nakron. After we're done, we could do knock around. Oh, fuck, I didn't want to put a thing there. Stop it! Let me, um... Let me hop on a different character real fast. Well, Mimic... Mimic is, uh, Noxtella, not knock around. I think it might make sense to get both of those done. Let me let me check some stuff. Actually, this character might not have it. Uh, do you have any underground time? You, you don't. You don't have any undergrounds. Okay. Um, let me go. I gotta get a different save out. Um, let me see. Let me see. Where are we going? Um, um who would be there? 
Um, who did I go the furthest with? The Dex build is the furthest, I think. So I did Millicent's full quest line on that. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna check, so we're gonna do that, obviously. Um, I just wanna see general, general difficulty, how much we're gonna do our souls test. So, Serpent. 2184, that's a, that's a pretty thick amount of souls. Um, hang on, um. Double. Okay, 2184. Uh, ba ba da ba. Knock run. No upgrade resources don't respawn. It's not that this is the easiest soul game, it's the most accessible soul game. There's a difference. These guys are only worth 738. Alright, so Nakron is gonna be a fucking joke. Night Sacred Ground. I've talked to Gowrie after getting Millicent's needle, but before talking to her after she's healed, she sells three sorceries. Yeah, thanks. I don't care. It's a let's play. It's supposed to be blind. There's, there's tons and tons and tons of mistakes in the let's play. That's the purpose of an, a let's play. Yeah, seeing the damage I'm doing, I think we can clear all of this before Volcano for sure. Let's go check. Let's go see what Noxtella looks like. I think Noxtella is about the same, to be honest. Like, there's like Ant Riders. The invader might be a little hard. Seventeen hundred for the ant, nineteen hundred for this. We we're at twenty one eighty four for a basic, uh, a basic dude back at volcano. Hmm. Stop it, you little edgy bitch. 1905. Yeah, so, alright. That, that, that makes sense. Um, we can go to Deep Route as well. Are we gonna do all of the underground things? It's pointless to put bleed on the katana when it already has bleed. How much are you boys worth? Come here. Sixteen hundred. I 
I win. Yeah, so I think we... Just based on the souls that enemies are dropping... I think we're gonna do this. And then I think we're gonna talk to Ronnie. And then I think we're gonna do Radon. Um... Let me go see what his dungeon is worth. But I think after Radon, I think we do... Nakron. I think we do all, all of the underground zones. Like, it's just seeing, we, we got less than 2,000 for even, like, stronger enemies down there. And a basic snake was dropping 2184 in Volcano, so... We probably want to do all of the underground zones before we do Volcano and, uh, Capital. Oh yeah, we're we're not even with all of uh with all of Limgrave and Liernia done. We might be a quarter way through. We might be a quarter way through. Cause Caleb's big, but Caleb's weird, cause it's big, but there's a lot of fucking emptiness. Like Caleb has a lot of like Huge fucking empty rooms. Like, just big empty fucking areas. So, it's hard to really gauge Kaled. Whereas, like, you know, look at the volcanic region. The volcanic region is very tight, but it's fucking packed. There's so much shit in the volcanic region. The capital, I'm not sure. I feel like, I feel like Leyendel's probably gonna be closer to Kaled. Maybe it's just big and fucking empty. Just seeing, seeing when I want to bring them to War Dead, because I remember these catacombs being fucking hard. So I want to see what we're getting for the average kill down here. These things, these things tank a fucking hit. Hey. Is that 2,000 for two or 2,000 for... Six thousand on the clean rot, fuck. I need like a regular dude. That's a regular dude, that's who I gotta kill. They might kill him on their own. 2388, yep. Okay, so this area... They're not even- we're not even sending them here till after- oh no. How do I get out of this? Where was the- where was the escape hole? Huh. No, this would be like a after volcanic region thing. Fuck off! Leave me alone! Mega Katana finish you! That's okay, it's a backup save anyway. 
Uh, so yeah, we're not. Let me make a note. Let me make a note that we're not doing that place until like post volcanic region. Um. No, no war dead till after volcanic. I mean, you get a cool summit out of here, but yeah, this place is fucking mean. So anyway, let's wrap up. I got enough notes to cover a good chunk of Kaled. Good, good chunk of Kaled, I think. Um, uh, we'll close out here for the night. Um... So I have I have that new uh I have that new game the um you know Final Fantasy Neo edition um I'm not sure when we're going to play that I'm not sure yet we need to figure cuz I want to play that at the same time I want to get more walkthrough prep in so I don't know I might, I might do a, a channel poll because I at least want to like do a, because I mean, the thing is, so we got, a, there's a lot of shit on deck, man. Like I have that. Uh, we got Tiny Tina's coming up. We got Ghostwire Tokyo coming up. That's three new fucking games. And we're not even through the walkthrough prep yet. And I'm like, fuck. Yeah, Strangers in Paradise. That came out like today. That's out on console like right now. And I just, I haven't. I haven't had fucking chance at all to to do this. So anyway, um, we're going to wrap up. We got lots of good notes. So lots I can work with, make some more progress on the walkthrough. Um, I mean, episode wise, it's coming along. I'm up to 27. I guess my concern is like after the 19th, when, when the let's play is done, even if I go up to two a day, that's the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 24th. So I would run out of walkthrough episodes by next Thursday and keeping up with two per day. I don't, like, I don't even know if I can keep up at two per day just cause I'm trying to, I'm trying to think, you know, at the, with the 24th as two episodes, two 30 minute episodes take probably two hours to produce. So I'd have to stream like two hours every day just to get enough material four episodes or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to wrap up though. I'm going to go spend some time with the wife and, and, and kid and I'll, uh, I'll catch you.